Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori Wellington. <laughs> Today we are going to dye Easter eggs. I grabbed two kits. Okay, four kits, but we're going to do, you'll see. We're going to use two kits. We're going to compare the Dudley brand, um, the gold glitter. <laughs> the gold glaze, and then the color glaze. So I have my eggs boiled. I'm all set up over on my craft table and we're gonna go through dyeing these eggs and see if we can get a really good result out of Dollar Tree egg dyeing kits. I know it's early, but it's time to start thinking about this stuff, especially if you would like to buy some of these kits yourself. So let's get to it. Okay, I will shake your hand. Hi, hi. He wants a treat. We'll get to it. Okie dokie, here we go. So the kits I'm using, I got two of these kits. I assumed they were the same thing and maybe they are, but then I also got this kit that comes with five colors, all Dudley brand. And if you're seeing below, all of these little dye discs are a different color. I'm assuming that's purple. So we're just gonna go with it. Now, I opened up the gold kit's directions. First it says, place one tablet and cup of warm water, add three tablespoons of vinegar, stir until dissolved. For pink and purple, use water only. Okay. But then it says, helpful hints. Add one tablespoon of water to container, drop tablet in water for color confirmation. Add vinegar to dyes, not pink and purple. Dye will dissolve quicker. Add remaining water to container. Um, so why didn't it just say that for your directions? I don't know. But I have a tablespoon measurer here. I also have warm water. So we're going to add a tablespoon to each cup. Okay. So we're pretending these are both purple. One is definitely blue. I don't know. We're adding three of that color. We get two of this one, three of this one, three of this one, three of this one. Now I need to get them into the water, but it looks like that's gonna be our pink and I'm assuming that's our purple. So these two will not get vinegar. These will get a tablespoon of vinegar each. A tablespoon? Was it three tablespoons? Three tablespoons of vinegar. Then we're gonna stick our egg in each one. Ugh, it stinks. You know, vinegar. Okay, I got paper towels, please don't worry. And this is my craft table, which works out well. Okay, so we're just gonna let these, each of them is gonna get a stir. And I'm gonna get this cleaned up. There we go. So everybody got some vinegar, except for pink and purple, because it said not to, I'm assuming that the pink and purple, the dye does something to them, or the vinegar does something to their dye. So, I'm just trying to get these to dissolve a little bit. I found it very interesting that all the kits are made by the same company, but their dyes are not the same, the coloring, or at least the tablet. So this is gonna be a minute to dissolve. I'm gonna pause it, let it dissolve, and I'll be back after I add the water as well. Oh, that was work. <laughs> so what I ended up doing was um, fishing out the little tablets. They were not dissolving. And I crushed them with a spoon in my measuring cup and then rinsed out the dye and put it back in here. And like, I can see little, like on this one, there's probably gonna be speckles because I can see the dye, it's just not dissolving. But that's okay, it's okay, it's okay. 
We're going to make it. So what I'm going to, ooh, did I move you? I did. There we go. I have my water here. Uh, measuring spoon in case I want to add more water to each one. And then these eggs are, um, oh, let me get, do one more thing. I should have put plastic down, but, you know, it's okay. So we're going to take the spoons out, the spoons, the popsicle sticks that I used to uh, stir. And I may need to add a little more fluid or water just to cover the eggs. I want them fully submerged. So my recommendation out of the gate, number one, you're going to want to set up this dye before you get any kids involved. Do you really see like I'm in a one cup here and they're not covered completely. So we're going to finish covering these. I did use two tablets per, so it shouldn't um, dilute too much. And yes, I have a little fishers, but at this juncture, I'm not fishing. I'm using my spoon when it's time to pull everybody out. <gasps> Completely covered. Covered. I'm just adding just, just warm water to them. And then I'll give them a little zhuzh. And then on the back of the box, it does say the longer you let them sit, the more um, pigmented your color will be. So what we're going to do is let these guys hang out in their little baths. We're going to put this in the trash. And we're going to bring out the next kit. My little llama, he's going to have to go. So I'm just moving these two colors back. Leave that here. I won't need liquid at this point. So what this kit is, it's the shaken egg. I don't know which is up and down here. Shaken egg. You get one, two, three, four, five colors in its liquid color. So I'm going to just kind of shake it up a little bit. Mix up our colors, and then we're going to separate them. They are serrated, but I would be gentle. I mean, just remember, these are Dollar Tree products, but I'm going to... If you go too aggressively, you could tear this and end up with dye all over your kitchen. These say, use cool, hard-boiled eggs, check. Cover work area, check. Knead each packet of dye thoroughly. Cut each packet along dotted line to form an easy pour spout. Now I am going to take out one of these or these little cups here to sit my pouches in because I don't want to lay them down. They will drip and pour, right? That makes sense in somebody's world. I think my world. Hope you're seeing all that. All right. So this is, oh, this is blue. So I'm going to knead it. Just getting this color kneaded up. Uh, pink. And how convenient. My cups are the right color. Uh, purple. No, we don't have a purple. So hang tight. Yellow. I have a yellow. Kneading the containers. Just trying to mix up the dye in here. And green. So yellow or purple is going to go in orange. And it's gonna go there. I'm gonna pause you for one second. Ready? I am back. And then it says, place a dry room temperature egg into coloring pouch. Add two to three drops of two to three different colors on different sides of the egg. Gently rub the outside of the pouch until the egg is completely covered with color. And you can reuse these pouches, but I'm going to go with, we're probably not going to reuse these pouches. So I have six eggs over here. That's perfectly fine. All right. I'm nervous about this one, guys. We have scissors. I don't know what age group they think this is for. What I see is stained floors and carpet. 
So, okay, this one says ages five and up. Now the directions do say that you have to, you should do this with an adult. Hmm. Okay, I'm the adult and I'm nervous about ruining things. I'm gonna go ahead and open them all up. And then we're gonna dazzle. Now, remember, we're gonna get a dozen eggs, but I have three kits going here. So we're gonna leave that there. We are gonna take an egg and dropping it in. I guess we'll start with pink. Pink is a fun color, right? Ooh, okay, just so you know, drops don't happen. It just pours. And we'll do some purple. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, God. See, I told you I'm going to make a mess. Green. All right, it caught it. And we'll do a little blue. This is not like gel at all. This is straight up liquid. All right, I'm running them around. I'm just going to let it sit in here for a minute. I'm not quite ready to handle that mess. So what we're gonna do is leave them in their little bowls or in their little bags for a few. Yeah, I, I'm, this is a mess. Okay, we'll do that color. The, the issue that I'm seeing is it's so liquidy but maybe I'm just old, guys. I don't know. And then we can do a blue. You know, yellow and blue make green. Okay. I mean, it looks fun in there. We're just gonna let it sit. Remember, we're gonna do all five, and then I'm gonna come back and put a glove on. I need to find a rubber glove for this mess. All right. Pink, like I'm having a hard time just getting it on the egg itself. I guess we'll do pink and blue. And I feel like I already had a pink and blue, so let's add some yellow to this one. I mean, do I think kids would have fun with this? Oh yeah. Do I also think that this is gonna make a big old mess? Yes. But we're doing it. Oh, I just made brown or green or something nasty. Okay. Let's do purple. I, and it's so frustrating because you can't like get it onto your egg. All right, we're gonna do purple and blue. They're all turning purple and blue though. Okay. I'm gonna do this one yellow and pink. All right, I guess I should put an egg in there first. Oh, actually I can do six because I have an extra yellow and pink. So y'all are brave if you do this with your little people. Teenagers, maybe. But, oh, there's, they come with extra bags, guys. All kinds of extra bags. Okay, we're gonna do green and blue. Let's go pure preppy here, green and blue. All right, done. I'm gonna clean up this mess and get these eggs out without dying my whole house. I hope you were able to see what I was doing, but I found a glove. So we're gonna lay these out to dry on a cookie cooling rack. I think the cardboard dealies that they come in take the dye off. Come on, thank you. And I feel like when I was little 
and dyed eggs. We used paper, uh, newspaper, and wherever they laid on the newspaper, um, they ended up getting, like it took the ink off or the dye off that spot. Now, mind you, when we were little, you know, little, <laughs> we weren't too, this is weird. We were not too uh, patient. I'm trying to be patient here and let these eggs come out and do their own color. So we did six eggs, there was plenty. I say if you reuse some of these bags, you could do a dozen with this kit. Okay. So we have those eggs out, they don't look terrible. The issue that I'm seeing is they're gonna get, um, yeah, I think you wanna dry them or you're, they're gonna get drippy. So if you really want them pretty, and, and again, this is me, I'm an adult, I'm not a kid. I'm just running them with some paper towel to get the excess coloring off because if not, they're gonna get streaky, right? Kids don't care, but um, I care. This one is a bizarre color, but and then you're gonna let them dry. And please don't worry, these eggs are not gonna go to waste. I'm making egg salad this week for lunch. I just wanted to get this out for you. Um, so here's a question. Did you eat the hard-boiled eggs as a kid or did you leave them out on the counter for decoration? I will tell you, in my family, we ate the eggs. All right. So let me bring these up a little closer. I have to let them dry. But I don't think they're terrible. They definitely turned out better than I thought they were going to turn out. So that's a bonus, right? Oh, what's that? What's over here? What's happening? Something got on my egg. I don't know what that is, but we'll get that off. Okay. I think it was just paper towel, but let's move them over here to the side. They have to dry. Oh, we're going to move these this way. There we go. Okay, now we have these to deal with, and I don't know if they're ready. What do you guys think? I do want to go get more rubber gloves because I think we're going to have to do the same, the same situation with these and dry them off so they don't get soupy. Oh, that's the purple, but it's not evenly colored. Look at that pink, guys. Okay, I'm pretty happy with how these came, but what I'm gonna do is they're gonna have to get out and they need to dry before we put the gold glaze on them. So I'm kinda just letting them sit in here for a little while longer. I'm gonna clean up, dump all this dye out, make sure all of our eggs are dry, and then we're gonna gold glaze the ones that we think need to be gold glazed. Okay. Everybody's dry. Now the next step is another one of these egg bags, which I'm glad they give you plenty of. And we're gonna gold glaze these. Now I will tell you one of these, and I might've worked it out, had like lumpy, this one, it feels slimy in there. So we're gonna use that one last if we need it. I'm not sure what, I'm gonna, I'll dump it out for you, but we're gonna go with this one. This is the gold glaze, and it does say to mush it. So we're kneading it. So here's my, my feeling on this dye. It does what I guess most dyes do. You know, the pink worked out to be the best and most even color. You know, these, and I might've had just too much dye in there, but I'm hoping that this gold glaze will, um, excuse me, hide it. So what we're gonna do, same thing, cutting it open. And maybe 
that line is just too big. I don't know. And I'm just going to sit this here. I don't want it to spill. And I threw my cup away that had them sitting in it. So we'll just leave here. We'll lean it over here. I don't have a glove for this. So that might be my downfall in life. But got our egg in here. And it says you just dribble. Some of this gold glaze. Ooh, it's pretty. On top. And we're gonna run this egg in the glaze. Maybe we need more glaze. That didn't seem like it worked well. I mean, it works well, but I want more. There's not ooh, a whole lot of glaze in here. I'll tell you that. But, ah, there we go. There's the glaze. And then we're going to I'm not so sure about the gold glaze, guys. But what do I know? What do I know about gold glaze and eggs? Nothing. You would think one kit would be able to handle six eggs, right? That's what I'm going with. And I'm just trying to rub it. Now, what I can see happening here with your little ones is a lot of broken eggs. I mean, you got to be gentle with this or you're going to end up cracking the eggs. All right, I'll do that one here. I wonder if I have enough in here just to, you know, on the sides of the bag so I don't overdo it. Yeah, I think so. For those anyway, we'll see if I run out. And I'm wondering if one of these kits was an old year, like a last year situation. And that's why the gel or the glaze feels lumpy or gross in one. So I'm just gonna do this. So I have two eggs left. I'm just gonna put the rest of this down in here. Just squeezing it in there, guys. This is extremely messy, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm hoping it doesn't dye my hands any more than the gold dye did, or the, the, <laughs> the egg dye did. I should have been wearing gloves, but it's okay. It's okay. It's all good. And I'm just trying to, like, glaze. Ooh, okay, the blue dye is coming off in the glaze. Let's get that out of there. Good thing my last egg is green. The blue dye changed the glaze blue, but my last egg is green, so we're okay with that. All right, green is done. So what we're gonna do is let this all dry. Again, I'm gonna wash my hands and clean up, and then I'm gonna open this for you because I don't know what the consistency is there, but it feels gross. But we need to let all this dry well, here, look, while I'm sitting here, we'll do it on top of this bag. Let me move these eggs. Can you see this? I'm going to stand up and see. Yeah, you can see. While I'm already messy, let's not clean up and then become messy again. I don't know what was in here. <gasps> ooh, ooh. Yeah, see? It's not glaze at all. It's like, it's solidified. It's like slime. That would not have worked. And you would have had some very unhappy children. Just throwing that out there. But for now, let's let the eggs that we have, let them dry for a few minutes. And then I'll come back and give you my thoughts.
Hi guys. We have the eggs. I'm so excited. Okay, so let's recap. We did the Dudley Golden Easter Egg Kit. Actually, we doubled up the die on this one, so I did two of this kit and one of the Shake and Egg. What do I think? I think I was surprised. Um, completely, ooh. Sorry, that was weird. I was surprised, completely surprised. The whole time I'm doing this shaking thing, I'm like, this is a disaster. This is not gonna turn out fun. And let me tell you, Wellington agrees. Look at these eggs, guys. The drops of dye that I thought was so watery. Do you see the shine? It's a glaze. They dried so quick and so well. I think these are perfect. This kit is amazing for all of your little people, even the little ones. You just have to kind of help them, but you know, you got to help them anyway. So I love that kit. Now, the other kit, I'm pretty happy with this one too. What, if I had to complain, hi, if I had to complain, what I would say is the gold glitter. I'm back, is the gold glaze is smeary. It doesn't, let me see if I can find where you can see. It doesn't, see that? It marbleizes. It doesn't like, it doesn't give your egg a gold glow or a gold haze to it. Am I mad about it? No, it's an Easter egg, guys. I think, to be honest with you, your child, Grandchildren, yourself, either one of these kits would be fantastic. And I think it's well worth the dollar as long as you follow the directions and you have some patience. I know that's hard with the little ones, but I'd get both. Do them both uh, for sure. But there's my review of the Dollar Tree Shaken Egg and the Golden Easter Eggs.